Hey YouTubers! Yes, it's been literally an entire month since I posted. I tried to put my camera up higher so I could stop having a double chin every video, but like, I feel like I still have one. I don't know. Not that matters. My room is finally clean and I don't have boxes all over the floor. And my bed is actually made in this video. That's the first time my bed is made in a video, if anyone's noticed that. I'm pretty sure it's the first time. And there's ocean! And there's my dog, Fred! So like I said, yes, it's been an entire month since I posted and that was not my intent, not supposed to happen at all. Basically, the reason why I made this video of what to do when you're in a rut is because I was in a rut and I didn't know like what I should be posting and then I just got super overwhelmed. I was going to class every single day and I was going to work to all my shifts and I was making videos and posting them and that was awesome. But then I fell off because I didn't schedule myself properly at all. Like I said, I was making videos, writing, editing, going to class, going to work. But the time in between that, I was like super overwhelmed. I was like, I have videos to make, I have stuff to study, like I'm super overwhelmed and I need to situate myself better. Basically, I got back from Toronto. Um, the concert was awesome, by the way. If anyone has a chance to go see Post Malone, I suggest it. And Sway Lee, I, I didn't know I knew so many of his songs until like I was at the concert. It was awesome. Yeah, I got back from Toronto. I had midterms and then I got some tests back and I didn't do awful, but I didn't do as well as I wanted to do. So then I got super stressed out and, and then yeah i basically had some friends in town visiting and i just got super busy which is not an excuse at all but not busy but i got overwhelmed and didn't know what to do and then i didn't know what to film and then yeah i was just like i have all this homework to do and these tests and i don't even know where to start and yeah that's basically what happened also i kind of felt like there was more stuff that i wanted to be posting about but then i was struggling about posting it there's some stuff that i wanted to talk about that i also haven't so yeah, I just got in this rut where I was overwhelmed with school, overwhelmed with work. I had to cut back um, about four hours a week. So I was working 24 and I'm working 20, which like doesn't seem like that much, but like it is a lot. Just those, even those four extra hours have like made a difference. So since I was in a rut, um, that's basically what I'm gonna talk about today. So when you're in a rut, even myself included, you don't feel very motivated. I tend to feel super overwhelmed. And I feel like the first thoughts are like, oh, when I feel motivated again, or when I feel happy again, I'm going to start doing that. Or I'm going to start doing this or whatever, whatever, whatever. And it's just like excuse after excuse. And you're just, yeah, not doing anything. But I'm going to tell you right now, like that's not how it works. Very similar to like motivation and discipline. When you're in a rut, I find people are always like, oh yeah, I'm going to wait until like, or at least I do, like I say, I'm gonna wait until like I feel better and then I'll start doing this again. But like, that's not how it happens at all. Cause it's like, I don't feel good today. So I'm not gonna do this thing. And then the day goes by and you don't do it. And then you feel shitty for not doing that thing. So then you feel even worse than you already did. Yeah, and then it just snowballs because there, then you feel shitty. So you don't feel like doing something else. And then you don't do that thing or you're late to that thing or you forget about this thing and you just keep feeling worse and worse. I mean. If you're in a rut because you've been go, 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 and you need that time to just do absolutely nothing and relax, then do that because that is also okay as well because I've been also one of those people who doesn't know how to sit still and just like relax ever. I think the only time I ever just watch TV or a movie is literally like when I'm with my friends. Like I never do that stuff on my own. If you actually need to do one little thing today or you're feeling super overwhelmed about it, then go do that little thing. Like do it because then you'll feel a little bit more better about yourself and then you're like, oh shoot, okay, I could, I feel better now. I could probably also get that thing done. And then that turns into like, a snowball effect but like a positive snowball effect instead of a negative one it's the same thing as like discipline and motivation if you wait to do something until you feel motivated you're never going to feel motivated or you might one day and then you might not feel motivated for another like two or three weeks ahead if you start doing something and then you feel better about yourself and then you'll feel motivated to do something else so it's like the motivation comes after not before if it does come at all sometimes it doesn't come and you just have to stay disciplined and get that thing done for any of you who know who gary gulman is i actually didn't know who he is until i just watched his new comedy special it was recommended by amy schumer on her instagram i love amy schumer she's hilarious and she's super real and that's why i love her she recommended um watching it and 
I actually purchased Crave, not just Crave, but Crave HBO, which is $20 a month just so I could watch his special. But I'm only gonna keep it on there for like one month so I can watch the special a few times. I've already watched it twice and I'll probably watch it again. It's called Gary Goleman, The Great Depression. So he basically talks about his depression, but it's actually, it's obviously it's a comedy special, so it's funny. For me, it was super relatable. And even if you don't have depression, there's certain things that you would find relatable, especially maybe if you're like older, so you should watch it. I recommend. So he has this conversation with his friend. Gary says, you know, every time I was depressed, I'd wait until I'd get good at something so then I'd feel good about myself. And then the novelty would wear off, then I'd feel depressed again, and then I had to get good at something, and then the depression would go away, but then again, the novelty would wear off and I'd get depressed again. And his friend kind of agreed, and I was like, whoa, like, I never... I mean, I get that totally, like, I can totally relate to that, but I didn't think that anyone else saw it that way or felt it that way. That was pretty cool. Uh, I like that he talked about that. So yeah, what happened to me was I got overwhelmed between school, work, and making videos. I said this earlier, but so I had to this week actually make myself like blocked off time for when I'm in class, when I'm making notes for this class, when I'm writing for my YouTube videos, when I'm filming for my YouTube videos, when I'm editing, when I'm gonna be at work. Cause if I have all my time blocked off, then I'll actually go and do that work during that time that I have blocked off for it. Also, Going back to one of my older videos, I talked about a bad day checklist and things that you should just check up on when you're having a bad day. I stopped doing all those things. So I wasn't like planning my meals at the beginning of the week. I was just grabbing what we had in the fridge. And yes, I was packing my lunch every day, which was good because I also used to not do that a lot. And I used to just go settle and like buy something that probably wasn't good for me and made me feel even worse. So I have to applaud myself for that, but I wasn't planning ahead and choosing better things that I could be eating. I was bringing water every day. My sleep was okay. It's been worse. Um, it's also been better though. Something that's also super important is working on your mindset. Paul is gonna kill me if he watches this because he said, make sure you're keeping up on your mindset work or else um, that's basically your foundation. And if you don't, everything's gonna fall apart. And that's kind of what happened. You don't know who Paul is. Um, his name is Paul Orlando. I took his career clarity coach program. It was awesome. Basically he was a former nine to fiver and he wasn't happy with his job and wanted to do something that he loved. So he got into coaching and he actually left his corporate job, lives on his own in Toronto and has his own business now. It's pretty cool. And he coaches other people in doing that. So if that's something else you'd be interested in, check him out. So for me personally, my mindset work is doing my five minute journal. Um, I'll put a link below, but I feel like everyone has seen it or even just heard of doing a daily journal every day um, in the morning. Huh, I haven't even opened it in that long that I can't remember what you write in the morning. In the morning you write your affirmations. I think you write what you're thankful for. And then when you go to bed, you write three good things that happened that day and then things you could have done better. Actually, I'll grab it and I'll show you. It's on my nightstand, but I just haven't done it since. Oh boy. Oh my God, this is so bad. I haven't done it since August 13th. <laughs> yeah, that's bad. Wow, he's gonna kill me. I think that maybe I'm reading the date wrong. Oh no, it's September, September 13th. Anyway, yeah, so you write like what you're grateful for. Um, I won't show you mine. Um, sorry. I don't remember what I wrote. It has a quote at the beginning of the top or it has like a weekly challenge. And then you write what you're grateful for, what would make today great, and then your daily affirmations. So this is what you write during the day and then at night is down there. So when you go to bed, you write three amazing things that happened today and what could I have done better? It honestly does make a huge difference. I love this thing to pieces. Five minute journal, you get them on Amazon. They also have other planners like a productivity planner. I should probably get myself one of those. So that's something that I had stopped doing. <laughs> that stuff is super important and it's literally just like a house. If your foundation is shit, everything else is gonna be shit and everything's just gonna come crashing down and that's kind of what happened. Um, I've definitely had it happen way worse than that. So that might sound like an over-exaggeration, um, but yeah. So to conclude this video, when you're feeling in a rut, do the opposite of what the rut is telling you or if you feel depressed do the opposite of what the depression is telling you um those little things that you do add up and then you actually start to feel better and then the motivation or the hat like the feeling the feeling better follows that it doesn't come first or if it does like you're gonna be waiting a while make sure you have yourself on a good schedule to be upkeeping on your foundation thanks for watching Hopefully you guys took things from this video and I will for sure see you next Monday. Bye guys.